Hi there. So triplanars are a really quick and handy way of texturing objects inside of Clarice. And the great thing is the objects don't even need UVs. They're especially useful for terrains because of the soft shapes you get from them can hide a lot of the imperfections you might get from projecting. So to show you how them work, I'm going to come down, right click here and start typing triplanar. And then I'm going to drag that into the base color of my shader. So we see we're getting green, blue and red. And if you click on here and see that this is also matching our manipulator here. So X, Y, Z. And what we're getting is we're getting three projections, triplanar. Any faces on the object uh, facing towards X are going to get the X red projection. Any facing upwards are going to get Y, which is green. And any facing towards Z are going to get the Z projection, which is blue at the moment. Now this is slightly different in Clarice, uh, although it's called triplanar, it's technically using six projections. So what we're doing is we're getting a front and back for each. So the front X is red and then the back X is we're actually getting cyan here. So you can see these two. So it just splits them all up, gives us a little bit more control uh, rather than having to have the same one for the front and back if you needed to change that. So what we can do, I'm going to double click on my shader. And then I'm going to drag in my two textures I've got, which is a cliff and a grass tileable texture. Really simple. So any uh, faces on this object that are facing upwards and are essentially flat, we want to have grass. So I'm going to put that into the top and the bottom. And then anything that's facing sideways or that's vertical, we want the cliff to be. So right, left, front and back. There we go. We can see that that is working. Now, we're getting some kind of sharp and not very nice edges on this, so you can go to your triplanar and play around with this blend setting here. All the way up is a really soft blend between the two. You probably want to find somewhere that suits your terrain. If you are using displacement to create your terrain or object, then you're going to need to switch that the uh, object space from base to deformed, which means that it will do the projections after the displacement rather than before. Otherwise, you're just going to end up with the same color over everything. Finally, you can see that my textures are not really giving us much detail and this is because my terrain is quite big and I need to play around with the scale on the textures. Now at the moment everything is using the force plane our projection which means that every axis is getting the same projection. Now we might need to have a bit more control over this and have different scales for different textures so we can turn this off and then what Chloe is going to do is it's going to go and look at the settings on each individual texture. So I've gone in and I've already set this up to planar and um, projection scale here which I found you know looks kind of okay um, and you will also need to switch your deformed here as well if you're using a displacement uh, you can also actually use UVs here if your object has them and of course if you come back to the shading network here this is a very simple setup but you can have entire network shading networks coming in and mixing together different types of cliffs different types of grass coming into one rather than just having one thing to get you a bit more variation and make complex setups um, the great thing about this as well is that if we have multiple different types of terrain we can just put the same shade on all of them without having any uvs and they'll all pick up cliffs and grass in the right correct places um, yeah so i hope that's been useful for you